I was given this bottle in college by a friend. Um, the original fluid has long disappeared because of missing tops and spills, but this is roughly what it was like when I got it 45 years ago. If you uh, shake it up, the material at the bottom disperses itself in the water and then you wind up with a rheoscopic fluid that is both instructive and pretty. And you can hear my parrots agreeing in the background. I tried to think of a way to uh, <clears throat> make the bottle more interesting. So I bought this thing at the bottom, which is called a tornado. It's a little propeller. And I put some electronics in the bottom so that it would uh, turn that motor on and off periodically. So when you touch that wire, the motor comes on briefly and then lets you look at the swirls. And then after a little bit, when just about when you're getting bored, the motor comes on again and that goes on for a while. And every 15 minutes, whether you touch the wire or not, the motor comes on briefly so that even if you're just walking by in the middle of the day, usually it's doing something. It's interesting watching the turbulence progressing from the bottom up to the top. I have a number of different drink bottles um, and I'm going to end up trying them eventually. This one has a lot of um, the five feet, what it was, the bottom of the bottle and is now the top appears to help mix things up a little bit so this is an automated version of the previous bottle but of course this is all rotational this isn't shaking so although it's fun and interesting the patterns are different than they were in the previous example The third variant um, uses this Lazy Susan that I bought at Bed Bath & Beyond. And I uh, made a 12 inch disc of acrylic and used UV curing resin epoxy to put a top on it. And I then filled it with the fluid. You can see there's a little screw here that I used to fill the fluid from the back. Um, the problem I'm having with this one is that although it was very pretty in the very beginning, the particles in the fluid have fallen to the bottom and they're not rising up anymore. The other thing is that the fluid moves a lot on the periphery but almost not at all in the middle. So the fluid tends to collect in the middle and I'm still working on how to rejuvenate this so that it is more interesting and useful. It's possible that if I had had a motor on it from the start that it would have uh, maintained the fluid in the appropriate suspension, but um, I'm also wondering whether having veins on, this, on the bottom would help stir things up or whether removing that black uh, plastic layer would make the bottom smooth enough that the particles came up. So still more puzzling to do. Don't really understand why the bubbles leave the center.
There's some bubbles in the middle of this disc of liquid water. flying out. But they always come back. The vibrations are because the bearings on this lazy Susan are pretty crummy. If I spin it fast, they come into the middle. And if I don't spin it, they come into the middle. And if I spin it slowly, they go out. So, Puzzling. I assume that this has something to do with the distortions in the shape of the plexiglass top that I put on. Maybe it's bowing in different ways depending on the rotational speed.